everybody, welcome to today's video where I will be talking about Attack on Titan Season 4 as a whole. We're about halfway through the new season, so I figured now would be a good time to reflect on what we have so far. So starting off, I just want to talk about the hate that MAPPA has been getting. I've seen people sending hate directly to the people who've worked on this season, which is totally unacceptable. MAPPA picked up Attack on Titan when nobody else would. Without them, we wouldn't be getting a season at all. I've been loving the new season so far, and I hope you guys have as well. So let's talk about our opinions respectfully today. I thought now would be a good time to talk about the new season because we've basically seen all of the characters. We've got the new characters, we've seen the new designs for our old characters, though the difference with the 104th is that they've almost had to merge Wit's old designs with MAPPA's new style in attempts to make it look more consistent. I think the only one who doesn't look like the manga is Levi, and I think that comes down to how different Wit's design was in the first season from the manga anyways. I personally love all of his designs, but there's just something about him that's never quite looked the same as the manga. I think they kind of gave him a sharper jawline. He In the manga, he has very like chubby cheeks, you know. A lot of people, including myself, were a bit worried about Hanji's new design after seeing the key visual for season four because their nose didn't look like their classic hooked nose that Hanji usually has, which is such a big part of their character design. Very few anime actually give characters different types of noses, and if they do, it's oftentimes villains. Villains are coded with hooked noses. So I was very glad to see that Mappa kept Hanji's nose the way that it was. People were also nervous to see what Onyan Kapon's design was going to look like because he could have very easily turned out to be some kind of racist caricature, which is not uncommon in anime. But I'm very glad to see that he looked exactly like he did in the manga and he looked perfectly beautiful, as he should. The most controversial design that I would say would have to be Mikasa because a lot of people were super shocked to see how different she looked. There was a lot of discourse on Twitter of people saying that she was ugly and calling her Mancasa because she has a short haircut now and she has a muscular build. She's a seasoned warrior, so it makes sense why she wouldn't have a dainty little body that people think she would. Even when she was a teenager in the training corps, she still had a muscular body, so I don't know why this is so unexpected for people. It seems a bit problematic to me actually because the idea here is that if you don't look weak or small, you don't look like a woman. I'm not sure if this fandom knows what women actually look like, but Mikasa and the other women in the show have a much more realistic body than girls in many other anime. <laughs> Overall, I've loved the new art style. I feel like it fits the theme of Attack on Titan much better than Wit's style did. As much as I thought Wit's style is beautiful, Mappa's is just grittier and dark compared to Wit's shiny aesthetic. They also don't censor things as much, like it's a lot bloodier, which is definitely good for Attack on Titan because that stuff is in there a lot. And like I said before, they've been staying very true to the manga in both style and storyline. They have changed around some scenes, but most everything is still there. The next thing I wanted to touch on is the voice acting. Not only did we get to hear the warriors for the first time, but the 104th squad is grown up now, so their voices sound different. It was most noticeable to me when Sasha spoke for the first time, I almost thought it was a different voice actor completely. Her voice sounded so deep and mature, but still like her at the same time. John and Connie also sound very mature now, and Aaron, of course, who has probably gone through the biggest demeanor change out of everybody. I also really loved the new characters' voices, Gabby, Udo, Sophia. Those ones really stood out to me. I feel like their voices really fit the characters. I still think about Gabby's scream during the declaration of war because it was truly haunting to me. The only voice that I don't feel perfectly fits their character is Peek, and I'm not really sure why. It just doesn't sound exactly like what I expected her to sound like, but as the season has gone on, it's definitely grown on me. One thing that has taken me a bit longer to get used to is the new animation style. And I'm not saying that MAPPA has bad animation because I still think it looks really good. The CGI is definitely not as bad as people are making it out to be. I feel like they've done a really good job of being able to blend the CGI with the 2D animation. To be fair, there are some moments that look more like a video game than an anime, but it doesn't really bother me that much. My problems come during the fight sequences. There was always something about Wit's fight sequences that totally blew me away. The way that they animated people using their ODM gear was unlike anything I'd ever seen in an anime before. Their animation had impact, weight, and movement to them that I haven't felt with MAPPA yet. It's still pretty early in the season, so I have hope that it'll come, but there just hasn't yet been a fight that has the same impact as like the Levi vs. Beast Titan fight or the Levi vs. Kenny Squad fight. 
Maybe it's just Levi hasn't had a good fight yet. <laughs> I don't think MAPPA has been putting out bad fight scenes. In fact, they're still really amazing and exciting. There just hasn't been anything that hits quite the same. It's particularly noticeable in the past two episodes with Aaron versus the Warhammer fight. It just seems like Aaron is standing there half the time instead of actually fighting like we know he can. We know he already has exceptional hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, but he hasn't used them at all this season yet. These scenes were supposed to show off how strong and scary he's gotten, but he's basically just letting Mikasa do all the work. The fight just doesn't flow very well at all. Every time they get to a climax of action, they cut the scene to something else which makes it feel very clunky and slow compared to other Titan vs. Titan fights. I know they're capable of doing great things like Reiner's transformation in the first episode was really cool, and even Mikasa vs. the Warhammer fight has been really entertaining to watch as well, but I just want to see more of it, and I'm waiting for Levi to get his fight of the season. Anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you guys have been enjoying the season as much as I have. If you made it this far, comment the fairy emoji, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!